Switzer Center. Whatever happened to that guy? What did he ever do? <laughs> Meantime, down in Gainesville, they're excited. That's that's a Heisman Trophy winner. Tim, Tim, it's okay to smile now. It is okay, guys. Deep breath. We'll talk to your coach in just a second. As we are back on the All-State BCS Selection Show, time to make it official. No big surprise, the FedEx BCS National Championship game, January 8th in Florida, and that scoreboard at Dolphin Stadium could get a serious workout because Oklahoma and Florida are coming. Number two, Florida averages 45 points per game, while number one, Oklahoma, is the first team in history to score 700 points in a single season. That includes five games in a row with at least 60. You can call it a sonic boomer sooner in Norman this year. Their number one ranked O torched defenses all season long. Big 12 champs scored quickly and scored often, averaging over 50 points a game. So now Bob Stoops is heading to his fourth title game this century. He joins us live. Uh, Coach, congratulations. Is it a sense of relief, or what is it? You don't have to deal with computers or human polls any longer. What is it? Yeah, it kind of is, because it's been, uh, you know, the last couple of weeks have been, uh, I'd say you, you win some big games against the number two ranked team in the country, 11 ranked team in the country, and you're still aggravated. So uh, there, there is to some degree. Hey, Bob uh, Barry here. Let me tell you something. I believe you and Florida are the two best teams in the country. I've said it all year long, the most skilled, the most speed. Uh, I want to ask you, why does you deserve playing in this game instead of the Texas Longhorns? You give me the answer to that, please. <laughs> well, you know what? A anyone, there, if you choose to, you could find many reasons. Uh, and in the end, you know, the media, some media, would like you to believe that head-to-head -head is all that mattered. Without, but, but they're only looking at it one way. Uh, if you look at head-to-head, -head, Texas Tech beat Texas. And they have identical record as Texas and as us. So in the end, the head-to-head the -head didn't, didn't work it out because, it, because of that scenario. Uh, Texas Tech's 11-1, 7-1 in the league, just like, just like we are, just like Texas is. So they went to a, a system that we all agreed upon before the season. And if someone didn't like that system, whether it be the media, whether it be some other team, Hey, just change it ahead of, before the season, and I'll play by whatever rules they want to play by. Just let me know before the season starts. You know, Bob, President Obama wants a playoff, but it sounds like you could get into his cabinet right now. That's a <laughs> terrific answer. I like that one. Here's my question for you, though. You were the defense coordinator at Florida and won a national championship, but when you became the head coach at Oklahoma, you wanted to run an offense that you knew would hurt defenses. Did you ever envision, though, five straight games of 60-plus points? I can't say that I have. The, those guys have been uh, unbelievable. Coach Kevin Wilson, our offensive coordinator, and all our offensive coaches and, and our offensive players, uh, what they've been able to produce has just been spectacular, and it all starts with Sam Bradford. He's, he's, uh, he's just unbelievable. Coach, it's Chris Rose and Barry Switzer during our commercial breaks has been diagramming several wishbone plays he'd like you to implement on January 8th. He said, you can use them carte blanche, okay? Hey, let me tell you, if he designs, designs them, they'll work. That away, that away. Coach, congratulations, and we'll see you down in Miami on the 8th of January. And congratulations Fox. to Florida as well. Thank you. Very good. Now, of course, Bob Stoops has ties to his opponent. As Charles just mentioned, he was a defensive coordinator during Florida's first national championship a dozen years ago. Now the Gators are going for their third crown. The Gators have chomped their way back to the BCS championship game for the second time in three years and don't have to leave the state of Florida to do it. Touchdown! Oh, my! Ranked among the nation's best on both sides of the ball, Urban Meyer's squad brings much more than just its Heisman-winning quarterback to Miami. All right, so Urban Meyer now in his fourth season down in Gainesville. He's going to his second championship game. Coach, congratulations, and I know yesterday after you knocked off the number one team in the land, Alabama, in the SEC championship, everybody said, hey, you're going right to Miami. Uh, was it kind of a sleepless night for you, though, or did you feel confident you were heading there? Well, you never know when, when it's out of your control, and, and, uh, but I, I felt fairly confident when you beat number one in one of the great SEC matchups of all time, and, and, uh, but we were fairly confident we had a shot to get to Miami. Urban, first of all, congratulations, but your great quarterback, Tim Tebow, he made the comment he'd love to be able to throw the ball against some of those Big 12 defenses. What are your thoughts about that? I'm not sure Tim said that, but if he did, uh, he'll have that opportunity here in a couple weeks. We have great respect for the Big 12, but uh, nine weeks ago, our team got together and said, let's make every game count. Urban, your team has obviously made every game count, beating number one, but now you get a chance to play Oklahoma and their you know, video game offense, five straight games of 60-plus points. You and Charlie Strong, your defense coordinator, are going to have a lot of conversations. Can you give us an early line on how you try to defend a team like Oklahoma? 
Well, we've not faced a team quite like Oklahoma. However, we faced some very good offensive teams, and it's all about personnel. And right now, we've got a very strong core of people on our team, and, and we'll be ready for that game. And, and uh, like I said, we have great respect for Oklahoma, but the Gators have a good football team as well. Coach, i got to tell you, your hair's looking a little bit uh, better tonight than it was the last time we saw you on Fox. Of course, you were a guest analyst last year at the championship game down in New Orleans, and those LSU kids, so they put it right through you. Yeah, they, they messed up your hair pretty good. Uh, we won't take it as an insult if you say you'd rather be on the sideline January 8th than back next to Jimmy Johnson on our set, okay? Yeah, I, I, like, being, I like being around Jimmy Johnson, but I, I'd rather be on the field. You, you said last year, you said, hey, we're going to be in the championship game. I'm not going to be back with you next year. <laughs> well, that whole game last year just had a sick feeling in your stomach because University of Florida, when some of the athletes we get to coach, some of these players get to coach, we ought to be making a run of that thing every, every, every year. And you are uh, making a run at it. We'll see you January 8th on Fox down in Miami. Congratulations, Urban. Appreciate you having me. All right. Well, here are your final BCS standings, by the way. Oklahoma checking in at number one overall, then followed by Florida, and Texas is number three. But keep in mind, the Longhorns rank higher than the Gators in five of the six computer polls, but Florida jumped Texas in the coaches' poll, and the difference in the Harris poll was largely in favor of the Gators. So, guys, here we go. We've got it.